So last time we finished up the UC Vanguard. Which was very cool. And, uh, yeah. Now we're just gonna start mopping up side quests and getting Starborn powers and get ready for New Game Plus 2. Let's see. <clears throat> Let's do this. Oh, he's on Aquila. All right, we're headed to, uh, We're headed to Freestar territory. Wait, Centaurus Mills. They make the pizza squares. Show on map. Let's go. Easy clap. This city is so large, yet retains a sort of rustic feel. I find it comforting. You got that right. It just gives me hope for what comes next. Maybe our future will be just as bright. All my life I've wondered about, well, you know, a question. Are we alone in the universe? It's statistically obvious that we are not. Now, I want to know if love is real. Oh. My boss says that if what? I buy enough of our Should merchandise, she'll give me a promotion. <laughs> Want to go outside the city walls? All right, I have no idea who this is. People around here think we own Aquila. They're wrong. The Ashta do. Friend, I gotta confess, I'm not much in the mood for conversation. I know I shouldn't let that woman get up under my skin, but well, I can't seem to help it. No idea who we're talking about. This was like 30 hours ago. I assure you it is not. Look, this ain't New Atlantis. It ain't all flowers and chirping birds out there. These walls around us, they're here for a damn good reason. I've trained the guards here for years again for a damn good reason. We get it wrong, 
we not watching all the time, then he asked to kill innocent people. That's the simple reality of the situation. So when someone struts into town with their untested ideas on how to do things better than those of us who dedicated our lives to protecting the city, that don't go over so well. What's she trying to do? I don't know. Some technical mumble jumbo about sensors and behavior predictions. That's not the point. She expect us to just change up how things work and I can't abide by it. We've gotten along just fine until now. If security can be improved, that's a win for everyone. Mm -mm. That's a big if. And I'm not about to do a live test of whatever tech she thinks she got. Look, this is getting my blood pressure up talking about this so damn much. You think you can talk some sense into her? Be my guest. Otherwise, <clears throat> I suggest you leave defending this city to the people who spent their lives doing it. Motherfucker, I'm starborn. I could destroy this entire city right now if I wanted to. We need to be smarter. Better in the way we handle the ash dust. Well, you sure don't look like you're delivering the capacitors I'm waiting for. Something I can do for you? I hear you have some new tech for defending the city. You need me to get you some capacitors? No, you misunderstand, I think. I placed the order last week. I'm just waiting for it to actually show up. So, did you need something, or...? I totally thought that was going to be another side quest. <laughs> I hear you have some new tech for defending the city. Uh, no. <clears throat> That's not really accurate. It is, however, slightly less openly hostile a reaction than I've gotten around here, so I'll take it. I'm not sure what you've heard, or quite frankly, why this seems to be getting around the way it is. Despite assertions to the contrary, I'm not attempting to run anyone out of a job, or open the city gates to allow Ashton to come pouring in. Nor am I in any way attempting to make a statement about the competence of the current security forces and or apparatus in Aquila City. I hope that clears things up. Well, that was... definitive. Hey, I'm on your side here. Are you? Huh. That's refreshing. I just... I need to prove that what I'm working on can make a positive difference. Then you'll see it my way. I could really use some help, in fact, just to make sure this all goes off without a hitch. Would you be willing to place some sensors for me? Sure, I can do that for you. That is great news. Just take these and stick them in specific spots in the city along the wall. When you're done, come find me. I'll find something to do in the meantime to give myself an air of plausible deniability. <laughs> if you are free soon, Talk. What's up? It is a relief to know that the Terramorphs are being dealt with. But are you sure this Asilis creature is the right way to do it? We're just helping nature take its course? Nah, I wouldn't say that. Slow and steady wins the race, as they say. I can understand that line of thinking, but even when talking about a species like the Terramorph? This decision means the Terramorphs will remain a threat for years to come, if not longer. And that is assuming it works at all. I still think I made the right call. I appreciate your conviction. I suppose time will tell. I will say, though, that I am glad you convinced them to destroy the Lazarus plant. No one can be trusted with something that has the potential to cause so much chaos. Indeed. The United Colonies hardly has the best record in that area. Bingo. Well, it is good to know that this particular threat is behind us. And you have done a service to all who live in the settled systems. Okay, dude. Cool story, bro.
Everything good? We're here to help. <laughs> By the way, news on the frame generation front. There's been another driver update. This one seems to have resolved the issue, but I guess we'll just have to see. Ultimately, it doesn't really matter. Because in between my last stream and this one, Bethesda announced that official DLSS with frame generation is coming to the game. So that's exciting. What's up, Keone? You got some good news, I hope. Your sensors have been placed. Well, that's that then. So this next part, it's a bit delicate. See that guard tower across the way there? I need to get in there and make a few small modifications to the terminal inside. I don't have the processing power to collate all the data that'll be coming in from the sensors. The existing network does. Um, did I know that in Endless Ocean 2 Adventures of the Deep, there is an albine sperm whale that fights a giant squid? Mateo, go ahead and assume I don't know anything about Endless Ocean 2 Adventures of the Deep, because you're probably right. I'm not hacking the security computer. Oh no, I wouldn't think of asking you to do that. I'm gonna hack it, but I need you to get that guard away from it long enough for me to do it. Away permanently or just temporarily? The method used depends on the intent. <laughs> I should only need a few moments, so I, I don't know, convince him to take a break or something. Or if you're feeling particularly rebellious, maybe give him some official business to attend to. I believe it's what Davis would refer to as a ruckus. As soon as you've got him occupied, I'll scoot in and out before anyone notices. Okay? Let's do this. Just trying to make me want to check it out. Let me, uh... Here. Mateo? You see this bucket? See how it doesn't have a bottom? You'll have an easier time filling this bucket than you will making me want to check out Endless Ocean 2 Adventures of the Deep on the Nintendo Wii. Never say never. I'm saying never. to the wall boredom because if that's what you're looking for you've hit the jackpot
I'm a free star ranger. I need you to leave the area temporarily. Is everything all right? Okay, okay, I I'm going. Hell yeah. That's all settled then. Thanks for the assist. Hope you're none too worse for wear. You should tell the guards what you've done. Oh, I intend to. Once enough data has been collected, I'll have the proof I need to convince them, especially Davis, that my technology is useful. What's that woman? What, the woman You're in the background? I, I, might even have I, I just saw her when you said WTF. It, what? You, uh, you all right, miss? Let's just go ahead and, uh... Okay. Well, that's a new one. Mr. King, I can't wait to go through the data. Wait 24 hours for Keone to collect her data. Talk to Marco Jensen. Oh, that's convenient. Hello. I just need a, a man should provide for his family, not drag them down along with him. I've got to do better. I'd like to help you and your family. We've been given as much charity as I can stomach. Without the low house, I mean, there's something, but it's a hell of a thing to ask. I really mean it. I want to help you. As dark as things are, there are so many good people out there. Nope, just me. Simone, my wife, has got a cousin. Milena Exelrod. Truthfully, I never much cared for Milena. But she runs freight, and I know her routes sometimes take her this way. Milena is family. Might be she'd do something for her kin. I'm looking for a job, and I'll do anything. Well, anything legal. Milena's United Colonies, like us, and I know she's got problems of her own with Aquila City. What's her problem with Aquila City? Uh, she clams up the times I've asked. Not even Simone knows. I'm sure she's run afoul of the law somehow. That's kind of how she operates. I got a ship. Shouldn't be a problem to talk to Mel Milena? <sighs> you are Milena? You answer to our prayers. Milena called Simone. Milena. Actually. I'm pretty sure she's still in the system. Just giving me any hope. It's a lot. Locals can be especially colorful here. Oh lord, what's this? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Just realized that business is the general word for stuff that keeps you busy. 
I mean, in one context, yeah. It does have a more specific meaning, but you're right. I should be damaged. No. Oh, it's you. Don't make me kill you, Mathis. Ha! I'd like to see you try. I almost made it into the Crimson Fleet. And got a crack at some real money. Then, you had to open your big mouth. You stole everything from me. And I'm here to steal it all back. Kill him. Leave nothing left but space dust. Oh, what have we here? Hmm. Anyway. Why is my ship all wobbly? Oh, we got pirate. 
pirates all over the damn board. Here to join the Good Times Express? If a ship jettisons their cargo, usually I'll let them leave. Might need to hit the key soon for a resupply. Hello, stranger! Uh. Can I dock? Um... If you're affiliated with the Crimson Fleet and the Rangers, you might not be able to dock with the Dalliance because you're supposed to kill the pirates. You can only hail the ships in orbit. A workaround I discovered is that you should kill the Dalliance and board after. Melina's dialogue would be as if you fought the pirates to save her. Okay. That's, uh... That's a little jank. doesn't get the juices flowing you're doing it wrong oh my god <laughs> it's supposed to be safe around here but cheyenne has always been just a giant bastard to me oh, <clears throat> unless you're a native in which case oh my god i love what you've done with the place <laughs> okay that that's a little janky marco jansen sent me his family is in dire financial straits and need your help I knew it! I knew it! Damon should have told me. Her and Marco are so damn proud. I'd love to help them out. Might be I've got a... Hmm, checkered history with the fine city of Aquila. 
If you clear up any lingering hard feelings, then I could resume doing business there. I'd set up Stick Up As Us Marco as my official importer. Then wins all around. How'd you get blacklisted at Aquila? I used to do cargo hauls for the mayor, and he got really upset that I might have been carrying more than I ought to. We had some words, maybe one fat lip, not mine, and now I'm persona non grata. Uh, tell me how to clear things up. Well, two paths, I see. The trade authorities got a fixer named Tom Starrett. He might be able to facilitate things. Or Mayor Cartwright. God, that windbag. Well, <laughs> if he'd take a sorry, that would work. Fat chance. Either way, I expect credits will be on the line. On the back end, I could afford to give you a taste of the action. Not sure it'll cover the fees. I might try talking with the mayor. You're brave. I mean, obviously, with all the yoo-hoo out there. Marco doesn't deserve you. But Simone, she's one of the good ones. You square things away. Just let Marco know. adventure you can fly away from. Is, is that how the saying goes? Okay, well, you have fun. Dude, this quest is a little borked. I'm just saying, my family was on the first ship. Hello there. So good to see you. Good to meet you, friend. Name's Elias Cartwright. I'm the mayor of Aquila City. Now, I've got a memory for faces, and I can't say I've seen yours around here before. I make it a point to introduce myself to everyone who passes through our fine city. As the founder himself once said, there's no substitute for a warm welcome and a friendly smile. I appreciate that, thanks. You're more than <coughs> As I'm sure you know, us folk in the Free Star Collective put great stock in human kindness and generosity of spirit. I like to think that's what sets us apart from our neighbors in the United Colonies. We don't rely on machines or bureaucracy. We rely on each other. I won't pry about what brought you here. 
That's all of your business and none of mine. However, I'd be more than happy to give you the scoop about the core and Midtown. I want to get Melina Axel Melena Axelrod permission to do business in Aquila City. Melena Axelrod? I wished I'd never heard that name again. She's a menace. She punched me in the face. Can you imagine? Pretty easily, I'm yeah. To let her back here. Is she really that bad? Yes. Maybe. <sighs> I don't know. I mean, she ran cargo for me for years. I even considered her a friend. But she stabbed me in the back. Well, not literally. But I swore to keep her banned for life. If we help her, her family, the Jansons, might escape starving to death. What? Oh, that, that's terrible. Listen, I feel for the uh, Jansons. If it was just the fisticuffs, I could look the other way. But we caught her smuggling red-handed. She's been blacklisted for good reason. But legally, if you pay off her bounty, I can't stop her from coming back. But we'll be watching her. I'm a ranger. I'll vouch for her. You'd go that far for her? Fine. Fine. She can come back. I just hope you don't regret it. I did, last time I trusted her. Alright, one of these quest markers is bugged. Meet up with Melena Axelrod. Report back to Marco Jansen. Meet up with Melena Axelrod. Eh. Are you that newcomer to save Mr. Okay, I think what's happening is she's on the planet. But not in this tile. I think that's what's happening. She's not on the planet. Okay.
God damn it. The fuck? Hello, stranger. Oh, I got pirates all. Well, I guess I need to. Guess I need to disable her ship again. <laughs> knock, knock. Legal issue. My family owes you, but I figure you figured that. Give Elias a kiss if you see him. God, I hate him. I, I did though. I did though. Do I have to go see Jansen first? Alright, this this quest is a little busted. out. Milena contacted me. She's making me her official importer. I'm not sure how much it pays, but I'll take it. You have no idea what you've done. Give Milena a chance. She's fun. My problem with her hasn't been whether she's good company, but I'll try. I can't wait to tell Simone. This is the first ray of sunshine we've seen in years. Okay. Well, that was a little broken. Might as well take care of this while I'm here. You're welcome. And the settled systems make their home right here. I guess I'll go through all his dialogue. The core is the oldest district and represents the original settlement dating back to the days of Solomon Co. The descendants of the original settlers still make their home there today. Tell me more about Frank Langston and your problem. Frank's just the latest owner of the old Hersonove Manor, and he's the worst, simply the worst. 
But it's been a problem since the Hosono family ran out of heirs. There's a no wrong that Cartwrights have been trying to write for decades. And hence, well, I need help. So what's wrong with him? He's just another slick, rude, neon corporate hack. Full of himself and just awful. I mean, the core is history itself. Cads like him don't belong here. If your credits are good, I might be able to oblige. Of course, of course. The last Hossanov was Sahar. Sad tale there. <sighs> By all accounts, when she lost her last grandchild around 40 years ago, well, it broke her. She packed up and just plain left the estate. Built some farm far from Aquila City and the protection of its walls. It didn't take long before the Ashta overran the farm and just like that, no more Hassanovs. What can you tell me about the Hassanovs? The Hassanovs were one of the early families that took to making a living in space. Very industrious, mainly miners. They settled planet side in the earliest days of Aquila City. They helped good old Solomon Co. a time or two, but they didn't fare well living in full gravity after a couple of generations in zero G. Lots of health issues. Eventually, a string of just terrible luck left only lonely old Sahar Hassanov. Poor lady. And those that were healthy kept leaving Akila. The call of the stars. Sounds like the poor old Sahar wanted to go out on her own terms. A lot of folks thought the same. So I need someone to go to the old Sahar farm, brave the Ashta, and see if she left a will. I swear I'll honor her wishes. Akila owes her family that much. And if it happens to kick Mr. Big Shot out of the core, well, that'll be a bonus. How will finding her will change anything? Sahar left no heirs, no instructions. So everything the Hassanovs owned was in limbo. What happened to the estate? Well, you'd have to be a lawyer to make heads or tails of it. But eventually, it wound up on the open market, so slick neon corporate shills could grace our community. If she named any heir, we could get the estate back where it belongs. See things made right. Just tell me where to go. Sahar's farm is elsewhere on the planet. If you can't handle Ashta, please just don't go. I don't want this whole sordid story to have more tragedy. Be careful. Look out for yourself. Every world with living things. It's a treasure. Ah, oh, there's the flickering.
Anywho. That was easy. Now what's this will say? It's many pages long, but the most important part is she names Blake Aldwell as her primary heir. Apparently he was an illegitimate child of one of her sons. Sir, Aquila City is lucky that Hope Tech still deals with them after the reception I've gotten. I come here offering business, employment opportunities, and they practically spit in my face. What do you do at Hope Tech? I'm a senior vice president. Cut my teeth with mineral acquisitions for some of the pricier things we need for the ships. I was really, really looking forward to having my own region to manage. But now... Mm. They should be courting Hope Tech, not insulting you. That's right on the money there. So Ron Hope assigns me to Aquila City. And I'm excited, right? Could be a plum assignment. But I need a place to sleep here. So I bought some prime real estate for me and my girl. And ah, damn it, you'd think I plowed through a sacred burial site. Listen, I'm not the one selling some priceless historical manor. That's not on me. Maybe you should try and back out and get a new house. And give them the satisfaction? <laughs> Never. Thanks for hearing me out. Hope you have a better day than I've had. I found the last will and testament of Sahar Hasanov. Who the who? Wait, wait. Hasanov? You mean the family that owned this manor? Well, now I have no idea how to pronounce Elias it. Elias Cartwright. That man's always had it out for me. My credits are as good as anyone else around here. I got a business proposition. 10,000 credits, and I take that alleged will off your hands. No questions asked. I think I'll hold on to it. Suit yourself. But there's no way Elias Cartwright or any of those other core snobs will offer you anything close. <laughs> so you sold three pickups today? Yeah. Might get some more on the back end. <laughs> Your casserole sealed the deal. Uh, don't you... I mean, I feel for the guy, but... Hey, I heard you had Dunlop's disease. Huh? What? No, I, I don't have Dunlop's disease. What's that? Your belly Dunlop over your belt. 
Ha! <laughs> Got him! Yeah, I feel for the guy, but I mean, the property never should have been on sale in the first place. I wish my granddad was still with us. What happened to the Hasanovs never sat right with him. I got Sahar's will. She left everything to an illegitimate Hasanov, Blake Aldwell. You got it. That's wonderful. But Blake Aldwell. Let me think back. There was a Blake. Might be we can track him or any surviving kin down. I'll get my lawyer on this. Frank Langston's in for a rude surprise. And we can maybe see a Hassano return back to the core. I don't expect Frank's going to take this lying down. No, he won't. But this ain't neon. We've got real laws here in Nikola City. You've more than earned this. You've done the city a great service. Wow. Langston was right. That's not nearly as much as he offered. All right, that's on Mars. I'm sure that's on New Atlantis. Where are you? Okay, Mr. Tate's right outside Aquila's city. Could make for a very good home. Any paperwork we need to file to clear it out? Is it zoned for commercial use? <laughs> this isn't the UC. As long as you are courteous to the neighbors, do what you like. We're still waiting on the loan from Galbeck. I must warn you, ma'am, that Oak and Aquila are very particular about doing business with the UC. When they see our prices, I'm sure they'll come around. As you say, I love my job. So many memories of happy homeowners building Everyone new lives. Everyone says Mr. Tate is the man to see for real estate. Nice to meet you. I'm Mr. Tate, and you have the look of a newcomer. Welcome to Aquila City. I don't suppose you're in the market for real estate. If so, then look no further. I don't know about buying a house. It doesn't hurt to hear about them, though, right? I have two properties for sale. This one here is a refurbished colonial manor in the heart of the core. I also have a more modest one-bedroom in Midtown. Any interest in them? Nice to meet you. Goodbye. Wait. Before you go, <laughs> my instinct says you're a person who knows how to work with their hands, or in this case, heavy equipment. Are you familiar with mining lasers? I used to be a miner for Argos Extractors, actually. Excellent. There are so many in the stretch, living in terrible conditions. The Low House and I are working together to make cheap, affordable housing. But the land we want to build on has hard stone that needs to be cleared. If it's paying work, I'll do it. There is some pay, but everyone involved in this project is doing so at a discount. Once you clear the land, we'll be one step closer to changing some lives for the better. People may say, Oh my god, that is so many quest markers. Hey, you 
careful not to point that thing at me. So we're gonna have a house bomb? That's what Mr. Tate is We'll have to move out when construction begins. It's not going to be a man of Boy, that's a name. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. I know better than to even make an attempt. <laughs> I will like butcher that, that like a pig. Hello, sir. My manner in the core has been every week. We take mayor power seriously, man. I cleared out a it means you can buy had it with that a clear the other day. I cleared out all the hard rock from your build site. Marvelous. One step closer. I can't wait to tell this wolf. I know it's not much, but this is well earned. Alright, what's this over here? You said it, not I. We take the power. People around here think vigilance is what keeps Aquila City safe. People around here think we own Aquila. They're wrong. The okay, Never well. Ever go outside the city walls after sundown. Can you even read Jim's inventory? You need a magnifying glass for it. I need a chair. Officer, I have no idea what happened. She came in, she sat down on the couch, stayed there for 24 hours, and then just left. It was the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Not even the weirdest thing we saw tonight. Yeah, for real. Welcome back, Mateo. Wee. Hello. The sensor shouldn't cause any disruption at all. I checked the schematic three times. Oh, it's you. I got the data from the seismic sensors, and I. I I need help. Uh-oh. Nothing that would get you in trouble this time. Promise. What do you need? I need someone to go talk to Davis Wilson. He isn't speaking to me. None of the security folks are, actually. 
I'd be happy to help if I can. Oh, thank you. It's really nice to hear that when others just don't seem to care. Remember the sensors you helped me set up around the city? Well, Davis Wilson is pretty angry about it. I'm shocked. I suppose I should have expected that. But now no one involved with security is willing to talk to me. At all. And I really need to coordinate with them because the data I'm getting from the sensors is... Well, it's off. Not what I expected at all. What's wrong with the data? Kinda everything. The timing of the results, the strength of the signals. I did a lot of research on the Ashta before I started this project, and none of it lines up like it should. Maybe your tech isn't working properly. No, the tech is fine. I never would have put it out there if I had any reservations about that. Look, I know I screwed up here. I went behind Davis's back and did what he told me not to. I don't expect him to talk to me. But this, I'm not gonna lie. It looks an awful lot like someone has been purposely messing with the system. I can't just stroll up and accuse him of anything, but maybe someone, you I'm thinking, could just ask around, see if something is going on. I'd really appreciate it. City safe. Don't mean to be rude, but I got a lot of things on my plate right now. So unless this is important, I'm gonna have to ask you to come back some other time. I hear there's something strange happening with the Ashta. Oh, did you now? And did that perhaps come from a certain entitled so-called inventor who's caused me no end of headaches? Keone is worried about the results she's getting. Oh, is she? After going off and doing exactly what she was told not to, she's concerned now? She made my life a lot more difficult, but I don't have time to deal with that right now. I have more important things to worry about. Been tracking Ashta for a long time now, and suddenly their behavior doesn't add up. Probably not a coincidence. Maybe that would explain the data she's getting. Maybe it would, but right now I don't give a damn about her data. Now I need to get back out there and get some eyes on this situation. Since you so interested, looks like you can handle yourself. You wanna join me? I've dealt with meaner creatures than this. I'm in. Yeah, I've heard more than a few hunters say something similar. They nearly all apologize for it later. Look, your Asha are nothing next to Terror Morphs and Starborn, so I don't want to hear it. The gate. We'll head out from there. Give me some time to get to the Thou hast journeyed far. Hear my voice. Fairy Tale Felon. Thank you for the raid. My heart felt thanks. I am pleased beyond words. Colon three. Colon three. <laughs> Colon three to you too. Thank you so much for being subscribed for 62 months. Please continue to enjoy your sub badge, your emotes, and your ad-free viewing experience. How was Separate Ways? Alright, you ready to head out there? As ready as I'll ever be. Okay then. Just stick close to me, keep your head on a swivel, and you'll be fine. We'll be back before you know it. And maybe we'll get some answers. It's so good, you love it so much. That doesn't have anything to do with the fact that you get to spend seven hours looking at Ada's ass. 
Does it? It doesn't actually. You mean it doesn't hurt? But more Louise time, more sassy Ada time, you're here for it. Well, Alright. I think... The Ashda are clever, but they're usually predictable. These tracks don't follow any of the paths I expect them to. It just doesn't add up. Looks like the tracks head this way. Jesus Christ, look at this. Who the hell can honestly say this game is ugly? What in the hell? This is one of our security box. Someone sent this thing out to mimic the Ashton? Why in the world? Shit, you hear that? Eyes up, we got incoming. Asta, incoming. Yeah, in hindsight, I think I might like separate ways more than the base game. Oh. Video game? Rip. Uh. Official DLSS support cannot come soon enough. And it is coming. This coming week, apparently, in a Steam beta. Which, unfortunately, I think will mean playing without mods for a little bit. But if that's the price I pay... Oh my god, I'm all the way back here. Please be careful with Mr. Wilson. I have a feeling he's just looking for an excuse with me. Oh, it's you. Nothing that would get... I need someone to be... Oh, thank you. Remember this... I suppose it... And I really... Kinda... Ev no, the tech is... Look, I'm... But this... I can't just... I'd really appreciate Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the mod authors will update their mods for the beta. But somehow I doubt it. People around here think we own Akila. They're wrong. The Ashta do. Don't mean to be rude. Oh, did you now? Oh, is she? She made my been tracking that. Maybe it would. Now I need to, since you saw it. Give yourself. Yes. Ashtar sometimes spotted by the farms. 
why we only use robots outside the walls. Vigilance is what keeps Aquila City safe. Alright. Okay then. Just stick close and maybe we'll Quick save. I wonder if you can skip dialogue by sprinting into people still. Doesn't look like it. Let's keep going. Maybe just because he was kneeling down. That was something you could do in Starfield or uh, in Skyrim. The Ashta are clever. These tracks don't follow any other paths I expect them to. It just doesn't add up. Looks like the tracks head this way. Yeah, anyway, I think I like separate ways more than I like the base game. What in the hell? This is one of our security bots. Someone sent this thing out to mimic the Asta? Why in the world? Shit! You hear that? Eyes up! We got incoming! Hey, be careful not to point that thing at me. Stay close. Stay safe. Grapple gun alone? You love a fucking grapple gun? By the way, did it fill you with joy realizing that Ada has Kuroshis? I mean, they're not called that, but let's be real, that's what they are. We all know what. The Kuroshis. If you're looking for a sidearm, I recommend Laredo's firearm factory. I can't believe it's not Kuroshis. <laughs> By the way, if you're at the merchant. And you have the opportunity to pick up the Ada charm? Still have some to harvest. Do it. And use it. Because it's the most overpowered thing. You know the enemies with shields? If you have the Ada charm equipped, you can actually grapple the shield and rip it out of their hands. Most times someone encounters an Ashta, they panic. Not you. 
Now I got even more questions. Who in the hell did this and why? Keone is not responsible. No, I expect not. Someone from Aquila Security did this. We're the only ones that have access to these robots or can change their orders. I need to check this over, see if I can find some more details. While I do that, I need you to run back to the city. Oh, I should have talked to this check guy the much sooner. <laughs> on the computer in the barracks. Look for whoever signed for this thing last. I'll meet you in the city when I'm done here. I spent significant time here meeting with smugglers. Brings back memories. Yeah? <laughs> Little Miss Emily caught an actual pickpocket and gave her a sticker. Didn't go over well. I'm not six, she said. <laughs> B. Kirkland. The fuck? You're in the vanguard, right? Hey, thanks for your service. You're welcome. If it weren't for the walls, the whole town would be an Ashta buffet. Oh, hey there. Back already. Davis said something about you going on patrol with him? He's... <clears throat> he's alright, isn't he? Nothing, uh, bad happened out there. He's not gonna be happy when he hears you're the one who sent that robot out there. Oh, no. Look, people getting hurt was never part of it. Davis has just been so stressed over this whole thing with that woman and her sensors, and it's been affecting him on the job. The damn robot was just supposed to stomp around, mess up her data, and then come back. I didn't know it would rile up the Ashta so much, and it wasn't supposed to break down. Sounds like it's time to start looking for a new job. I was just trying to make life easier for Davis, I swear. Be that as it may, you have potentially made things harder for everyone. Yeah, that's right. Don't even go back in. Go turn your uniform in. I mean, change out of it first, but... Or don't. I mean, this is Aquila City. Freedom and all that. Although maybe that's something that would go down better on Neon. There you go. Why don't you head to Neon? I'm sure there are plenty of opportunities there for a criminal such as yourself. That robot could have killed people. The robot's internals are fried, so I came up empty. You have any better luck than I did? 
know who's responsible? Bailey Kirkland is your culprit. What? No way. My own people sabotaging equipment. Whole world's going crazy. Well, I'm gonna have to go deal with this. Thanks for helping out. I'll kick some credits your way. May not be much. Not made of money around here. You might want to give Miss Alpin some time to get clean data. Might be a research. Well, it might prove useful. Okay, bye. <laughs> Wait 24 hours to talk to Keone. All right. I wonder how the crimson fleet. Time to find a chair. Would think that deadly predators would have driven off settlers. We can be so stubborn. So. Oh, I'm sorry. We'll go. Just we'll let go. me drink in peace. Just need to find a time. I was thinking... Neon? Neon? They're barely a part of the Freestar Collective. So we we're getting political city. now? All class joints. Hope Town's well, not that acts. different from Aquila. Hard workers. <laughs> and everyone making I their own way. I feel for the folk in the stretch. But Try and give a predator to the low house when I'm able. But it could be so much fun. Pardon? They say everything's legal on Neon. We'll talk about it later. This Eloise can hook you up with a drink or a room. I just help out around the place. Work hard, play hard. That should be the Freestar motto. to be smarter, better in the way we handle the Ashta. Hey! How have you been? Staying out of trouble? Now that you're not asking me to get into trouble, I'm doing just fine. Didn't I say it was all for a good cause? Things here have been... Well, they're better. The Isis thought a bit between me and Davis. We'll probably never be friends, but... At least we're on speaking terms now. I think he finally appreciates the value of my research. Glad the two of you are getting along. Yeah, we're much better as a team, even if it is a cautiously engaged one. In fact, speaking of Davis, I have to confess, I'm a little worried about him. In analyzing the recent data, I've isolated readings suggesting that someone is making patrols far more often than in the recent past. I don't have any direct evidence, but I know it's Davis. It's gotta be. I'm worried that everything I've inadvertently put him through is kinda, I don't know, pushed him over the edge, or at least a little too close to it. If you were really worried, you'd go talk to him. I have recognized that Davis has 
an emotional reaction to my presence. We're on speaking terms, but he still gets agitated. I don't want to make things worse. I'm better with statistics and circuits than I am with people. Mood. I've already made a mess of this situation. Mood. Do you think you could go speak to him? If nothing else, it would ease my conscience. Yeah, fine. You see any heat leeches? Things are dangerous. I won't I go into why though, because spoilers. Why is it every time I see your face, I bet a headache's gonna follow shortly after? Davis, I'm hurt. Mm-hmm. All broken up about it, I'm sure. <laughs> so what can I do for you? If you're looking to get yourself killed, there are easier ways than letting the ash to do it. Right to the point, then. Ah, that woman, I swear. Even though we've smoothed over most of the rough spots, she still manages to strike a nerve without even trying. If you need help, you can just ask. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. Not sure yet. When we were out there and we found that robot, obviously that threw me for a loop. Still can't believe one of my own people will pull a stunt like that, endangering us all. But the more I thought about it, that whole episode doesn't account for some of the tracks I saw out there. Too large, too spread out. You think there's some other creature out there? Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. If there's a bigger Ashta out there, something meaner than what we've seen so far, I have to know. I tell you what, if you and Kiona are worried, why don't you just come with me then? Either I get an extra gun in the fight, or you get to laugh at the old man and say, I told you so. Amanda, you raided like 20 minutes ago. That's not a raid and run. And, uh, maybe grab the biggest gun you But I appreciate got. it. Just Have a good case. night. Sleep well. Alright. You know, Keone showed me her data. K-I-K -K instead of LOL. That takes me back. She's got a lot of things figured out. I think we can make some real improvements in the future. She That's some early internet shit right there. Thought were erroneous or something. But it seems to me that it might not be. Bigger, faster, Ashta sounds like it matches up with the tracks I've seen. But I tell you, Bye. I she's right, and it's just a glitch. Boop. And uh no need to tell her I said that. Oops, my finger slipped and shattered you out again. All right, here we are. Let's head this way. I remember a story from the first time I was here on the I had totally forgotten about it till recently. Every so often, we get independent types who think that they can succeed where everyone else has failed. All right, me in the suit. It's, uh... It's not working in this context. Some of them stride off into the wilderness, certain that they're going to make more credits than anyone in history. Mining, botany stuff, whatever. Warnings just don't get through to them. Most of them don't come back. But this one time miner from some corporation or other, he drags himself back into the city bloody and half dead. The fuck is that thing? I should have come out here a long time ago. Shit, that's gotta be it. No matter what happens, you make it back to the city and tell them about this. You hear me? That's one big son of a bitch. I will not aid you in this. What? What did I do? You and I have things to discuss. What did I do?
Did he get hurt by the anti-gravity thing? Ash does sounds like it matches up with the tracks I've seen. But I tell you, I'm hoping she's right and it's just a glitch. And uh, no need to tell her I said that. Wouldn't want it going to her head. All right, here we are. Let's head this way. I remember a story from the first time I was here on the Kila. I had totally forgotten about it till recently. Every so often we get independent types who think that they can succeed where everyone else has failed. Some of them stride off into the wilderness, certain that they're going to make more credits than anyone in history. Mining, botany stuff, whatever. Warners just don't get through to them. Most of them don't come back. But this one time miner from some corporation or other, he drags himself back into the city bloody and half dead. Claimed he seen an ash as big as a house out there. The older guys all said he was delirious and leaving. Well, I was really in listen to him. Now though, I'm wondering if maybe it wasn't just blood loss and the heat stroke. Maybe he really did see something. Maybe I should have come out here a long time ago. Shit, that's gotta be it. No matter what happens, you make it back to the city and tell them about this. You hear me? That's one big son of a bitch. Blowing off some steam. I'm not gonna lie to you. I didn't think we were gonna make it through that. If you hadn't been with me, no way I'd be standing right now. We were here specifically to ensure you remain standing. <laughs> that was fun. Let's do it again. <laughs> you are something else, you know that? We got out alive this one time. That's good. But this ain't gonna be the last time we have to deal with this. Now that we know these things are out here, we need to track them and keep them out of populated areas. And that plan is going to need everybody. So, I'm going to swallow my pride a bit here and ask you to go tell Keone what we found. Let her know that her data wasn't an error and that she needs to focus on it. You're just avoiding her, aren't you? No, of course not. I'm an old man, slow on the move. You can get there so much faster. She'll prefer hearing the news from you anyway. Thanks again for saving my ass. Your data wasn't a mistake. It helped us find a new kind of Ashta. Really? Oh my gosh, I can't believe I didn't trust it. You know, I was really hitting a point where I was starting to think maybe this was all a mistake. That I stuck my nose into something I shouldn't have. Davis was so certain they had everything under control that they didn't want or need my help. But they did, didn't they? They sure did. You know your worth. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Yeah, you're right. If anything, this has proven I should trust my instincts. No, trust the data. I need to get to work on this immediately. But while I've been sitting around, I whipped up a little something for you. I thought it was funny. <sighs> now that I'm giving it to you, I'm hoping it's not in really poor taste. Anyway, thank you again. Ooh. Ooh. 
Ooh. Not bad. To neon. Let us stick to business here, and hopefully, business has nothing to do with Aurora. Andresia, you never let me have any fun. It's a bad place for tourists these days. All areas come to hell. Um. Okay, yeah, never mind. This driver's borked too. Oh, thank Christ, official DLSS is coming. All right, I'm gonna. I'm going to roll back my GPU driver. This is almost certainly going to crash OBS, so I might have to BRB. 